Ryan Schrader, Ronan General Manager. Uh, we're coming to you with another instructional video in the uh, Ronan series today. We wanna to talk about reverse functionality with the Ronan Lift. So um, the easiest way to tell if your unit has reverse functionality is simply to look at the ID plate on the side of your Ronan Lift housing. If you have a dash R after your serial number, that means that you do have reverse functionality on your, on your lift. Uh, if you're unsure in any way, please contact us directly and we'll help you out with that. But uh, first thing to note is uh, reverse functionality is not to descend the line. You always wanna just open your brake uh, and let uh, the gearbox back drive you when you're coming back down. And it also saves on battery. But uh, when you're done working for the day, that's what the reverse functionality is for. So what we've done is uh, we have our, our red brake handle and we have a limit switch underneath the brake handle. And this assures that we force you to open the brake before you go into reverse uh, so you don't cause any damage to your rope inside the unit there. But physically, all you wanna do is pull the red brake handle all the way open, or should I say down. <clears throat> And what you'll do is you'll roll the thumb wheel in the down position, just like you would normally send the line. But now that our brake's fully open, it'll actually reverse the polarity of the motor. And as you can see, the line will now come out of the Rona much simpler and easier. Uh, there are advanced techniques using the descending feature, or should I say the reverse function feature, um, for angle setting and things like that. But these rigging techniques are a little bit advanced. Uh, please contact Rona directly and we can help you out with those setups.